Good evening, and welcome to our winter concert. You'll be hearing tonight the Dodgeland High School Band, followed by the two choirs here at Dodgeland, first Vox and then Canto Bello. Um, we are really excited to share the music that we've been studying in class this year and this semester so far, and they've worked really hard, so we please ask to refrain from talking with your neighbors while they are performing, because it just kind of distracts from the performance. Um, anyway, our first piece is going to be sea songs. <laughs>
I just realized, with the help of some of my front row people, that I forgot to introduce myself. Again, it is kind of a staple. My name is Sam Averill. I teach 5 through 12 band here at Dodgeland School District. So the first song that you heard was Sea Songs. And kind of the theme for this concert, for the high school band's portion of the concert, is folk songs and like folk song-esque type of pieces. So that first piece included the sea songs, folk songs, Admiral Benbow and Portsmouth. The next song you're going to hear is a traditional American folk song called Shenandoah. And it is this really beautiful, slow arrangement by Frank DeKelly. And it features a lot of the instruments you see on stage. That starts out with solo euphoniums. And then it kind of builds up to saxophone and trumpets, and it just grows from there. We hope you enjoy Shenandoah.
in that last piece, you did hear a couple of soloists, so I'd like to give a little bit of a shout out to Naomi, Brielle, uh, Lily, and Connor, all for taking solos throughout this. Can we please them give them another round of applause? They sounded great. So the last piece you're going to be hearing today is a piece called Irish Rhapsody. This one features a bunch of different Irish folk songs throughout it. I'll just kind of run down the list. I have a little cheat sheet here for me because it's hard for me to remember every single one. So the first one is the Maureen, and then it goes to I Know Where I'm Going. The next is Shepherd's Lamb Reel. The next is Cuckles and Mussels. The next is The Rakes of Mallow. And the last is Kathleen O'More. And before we depart, in the band portion of the concert. I'd like to give out a, a couple of thanks. First to my colleagues Eliz Elizabeth Hudson and Bryce Menchow. We're in the foxhole together. We're very collegial and it's just really nice to have people that I get along with and that if I ever have needs they're more than willing to step up to the plate. Um, the other people I'd like to, s to thank are our admin team, Dr. Annette Thompson, Mrs. Jessica Johnson, and Mrs. Marsha Modaff for always supporting us in what we do and fulfilling requests when we need it and just being a presence in our classrooms. And then we would also like to thank Ms. Lori Henthorn for supervising today. I know she's out there somewhere. I can't quite see. Um, and then I would also like to thank Mr. Brad Modaff. He's the one who's been doing all the microphone stuff. You'll hear him later doing stuff with the choir, with microphone and sound and lights. So thank you to him and Mr. Bob Sweeney as well for videotaping and recording our concerts. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out and sacrificing your Tuesday nights. I know it's it's a lot to ask from you and your students to come in at 7 p.m. on a Tuesday with winter break coming up. It's not that they're crazy at all right now and ready for that, but it's just so great that you're supportive of what we do, supportive of what, what they do, and we're just really, 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 really appreciate what you do for us. Thank you. So our last piece, Irish Rhapsody.
Good evening. Welcome to the choral portion of our concert this evening. Our first choral group is a new one to Dodgeland High School, and it is named Vox. Vox is, uh, stands for voice in Latin, so an appropriate name for a choir. And this group is new. Uh, it is different than a traditional choir. All the music that we've learned this evening has been strictly by rote, meaning I played the notes for them or I sung it for them, and they learned it by ear, committed it to memory, and can sing it back to me. So um, this group is uh, designed to be a bit more of a informal, sing for fun sort of group, um, but we have challenged ourselves to learn the music this evening. We've prepared three pieces for you, the first of which is White Winter Hymnal, popularized by Pentatonix, at least the a cappella version. There are some body percussion elements to this piece, and uh, we, we've put together what we can. We, we found out very quickly that they're a little tricky, but we've, we've done what we can. We've also added uh, some cup percussion in uh, as well. So this is White Winter Hymnal. don't know me, my name is Mr. Bryce Menchow, and I teach middle school, high school choir, as well as fourth and fifth grade music. This is my fourth year at Dodgeland, and I'm so excited about the growth that I've seen over these four years. The fact that we have two choirs is a, is a sign of that growth. And so our next song for you this evening is White Christmas. White Christmas was written by Irving Berlin, who had a 60-year career in which he wrote many, many popular songs, but uh, among them, 20 original Broadway musicals, 20 scores for uh, Broadway musicals, and uh, the scores and songs for 15 movies. So quite an illustrious career. Um, so White Christmas was nominated and won an Academy Award. It's the only time in history where the presenter read their own name in an envelope. After that happened, they changed it so that wouldn't happen again. 
Um, so this is White Christmas. We do have um, a duet and a solo. Uh, we have Molly Ryder doing a solo at the beginning, followed by Brooke Turner and Sam Loomis uh, doing a duet, and then the whole choir will join in. This is White Christmas. So our final song for Vox for you this evening is a Stevie Wonder classic, um, What Christmas Means to Me. However, I did not, I was not exposed to it uh, from Stevie Wonder. Any of you who uh, saw the fall musical might know that I'm a fan of the band Hanson. Yes, Mbop Hanson, all right? And I distinctly remember, I believe it was the late 90s, they put out their Christmas album and I received it on St. Nick's Day and immediately put it in the old, um, what is it, Packard Bell computer. So not Hewlett Packard, Packard Bell computer, and listened to it. And uh, it's their version that I fell in love with because it has this catchy little tag that isn't uh, in the Stevie Wonder version. Um, and so you'll hear a bit of that in this song. It's just, it's really truly infectious and it's, it's hard to not feel the groove of this song. Um, so before we sing this song, I, I just want to um, thank this group for all the hard work that they've put in. Uh, initially, in my mind, when I conceived this group, um, we weren't going to necessarily do performances because more informal, you know, maybe they're not into that. And they made it known to me about the end of quarter one that, no, they did want to uh, perform. And so we kind of threw together quickly all these things, and, and they're doing a phenomenal job, especially for a group that's learning everything by ear. Um, and it's challenging at times to, to learn something by ear and not have the sheet music in front of you. So kudos to them. They're my test subjects for this course, and um, I think it's going rather well. And so this is what Christmas means to me.
Our next song this evening is called Travelin' Home. It is a, uh, uh, derived from a couple of sacred harp tunes. Sacred harp singing is uh, really fascinating. I, I did some research into it as um, I was looking at this song, and they read the music first in solfege, which would be your do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, and do. First they sing it in solfege, and then they sing it with the words, and they sit with each of the four sections in a square facing each other in the center. And the conductor doesn't do any fancy hand gestures. Literally, they're just keeping the beat like so. And it's, it's meant to be sung with very bright and harsh sound. Um, in contrast to that, this piece is um, softer, more delicate. And um, this, was also, this selection was also inspired by um, my alma mater, Luther College. Um, their Nordic choir sang a beautiful rendition of this song and another song by the Whale and Jennies mashed up together. And every time I listen, I could listen to it a hundred times and I get goosebumps every time. And so this is Traveling Home. As we sing it, think about what home means to you. That was an exercise we did with the choir. Um, once again, Traveling Home.
Our next song this evening is called Tidings of Comfort and Joy. It is a reimagining of the uh, Christmas song, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, with a fun groove to it. Now, um, as I mentioned, this group has been working really hard on their music and have far exceeded my expectations. And so much so that they had three of their songs ready well in advance of our concert to the point where we needed a new challenge. And so about two weeks ago, we started this tune. And they once again met the challenge, rose to the occasion, and have learned this song. So this is Tidings of Comfort and Joy. Before we begin our last song of the evening, I would like to, uh, I'm sure, echo the sentiments of my colleague, Mr. Averill. Uh, I would like to thank our administration. I'd like to thank our custodial staff, our um, technicians back there, uh, Mr. Modaf, uh, Cole Fenner, and Mr. Bob Sweeney. Uh, and uh, our last piece this evening is On Children, which is based off of a poem and all the songs this evening were intentionally chosen to be composed or arranged exclusively by female composers and arrangers. And that was an intentional effort on my part. Um, it's very easy, and all the music publishing sites are flooded with, um, with songs by predominantly white males. And um, you have to really dig to find something by someone um, of a minority ethnicity or by a female. And so I challenged myself to pick songs exclusively by females. Our first piece by Abby Bettinas. Our second piece, which was uh, arranged by Andrea Ramsey. Our third piece, uh, which is arranged by, check your program, drawing a blank. <laughs> Audrey Snyder, see, yeah, hey, there we go. And um, our last piece is um, composed by Yizai Barnwell, who uh, was one of the founding members, original members of a group called Sweet Honey in the Rock. And this piece on children is um, basically centers around this idea that your children are not your children. They are the sons and the daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but they are not from you. Uh, 
and though they are with you, they belong not to you. You can give them your love, but not your thoughts. They have their own thoughts. All of these ideas um, focusing on the, the, the concept that um, your children, um, I have an analogy written here. As parents, uh, it behooves us to provide the foundation, but let them build the house. We can only hope to provide them and instill upon them the values that we have, but ultimately they have to build the house. And all of your students up here on stage are very capable of building that house. We have very strong, uh, very compassionate, very creative students here at Dodgeland and in our music department. And so that should be celebrated and we will celebrate it with our final piece on children. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and the daughters of vice. Longing for self, they come through you. But they are not from you. And though they are with you, they belong not to you. You can give them your love, but not your thoughts. They have their own thoughts. They have their own thoughts. You can house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls dwell in a place of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, no, not even in your dreams. You can strive to be like them, but you cannot make them just like you. Strive to be like them, but you cannot make them just like you. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and the daughters of life, longing for itself. They come through you, but they are not from you. And though they are with you, they belong not to you. You can give them your love, but not your thoughts. They have their own thoughts. They have their own thoughts. You can house their bodies, but not their souls, for their souls will be tomorrow, which you cannot visit, no, not even in your dreams. You can strive to be like them, but you cannot make them just like you. Strive to be like them, but you cannot make them just like you. Thank you very much for coming. Have a happy holiday season. Good night.